Hello and welcome to Mercury Now, a vodcast series brought to you by Mercury Systems. I am your host, Ralph Gavaris. Thank you for joining us. Now, today's pace of technology development means the traditional approach of custom design modules and subsystems is too slow. But modular open system architecture approaches can deliver on system demands without sacrificing performance or scalability. Joining me today is Roger Hotkins, Director of Sales for Mercury Systems. Roger, good to see you. Thank you for joining me. Good to be here, Ralph. So, Roger, I see that you brought two products that directly address this conversation. Uh, could you please tell us a little bit about it? Sure, be glad to. The first one is the RFM3202, which is a dual channel RF up converter and down converter. It mates directly with the second product, which is our DCM3220, which has two A to D converters and two D to A converters, as well as FPGA processing elements inside the board. So together as a pair, they complete a very complete solution to the problem at hand. Thank you for that, Roger. Now, what problem are customers trying to solve that led to the introduction of these products? Okay, customers are trying to acquire and to generate signals in the range of two gigahertz to 18 gigahertz. They need to do that with an instantaneous bandwidth throughout that range of two gigahertz. They need to also do some significant signal processing on the receive signal before it gets sent out as a transmit signal. Usually that's done in an FPGA. The time it takes between the input and the output has to be extremely short, which means low latency. The last requirement, the solution has to be an open 3U VPX form factor. Thank you for that, Roger. Now, how do the RFM3202 and the DCM3220 meet those requirements? Sure. Well, first of all, the RFM3202 has two channels of RF down conversion, down converting from 2 to 18 gigahertz as a center frequency with a 2 gigahertz instantaneous signal bandwidth to an IF output. On the transmit side, we have an IF input that is translated up to between 2 and 18 gigahertz with a 2 gigahertz signal bandwidth. The IF interfaces on the RFM3202 connect directly to the DCM3220 and using these rear panel connectors. The RF down converted signals go into two low latency 12 bit 6.4 giga sample per second A to D converters. That low latency is important to the overall application. The, th the signals then go into a uh, Vertex Ultrascale Plus FPGA for some really heavy duty signal processing capability that might be required by the customer. There's also a Zinc Ultrascale Plus for control functions, moving data, and so forth. The data that comes out of the Vertex Ultrascale Plus goes into two 12-bit, 6.4 giga sample per second D to A converters, also very low latency parallel interfaces that then generate two IF outputs, which again come out through this rear backplane connection back over to the input for the 3202 for the transmit side. So in every case, what you've done is you've maintained a two gigahertz instantaneous bandwidth from the 3202 analog signal in and out to the IF signal in and out back here, and you've got your complete solution with every one of those requirements that I mentioned before fully met. Thank you for that, Roger. Now, what kind of applications do these address, and, and why is it so important to our clients? It's extremely important because in countermeasures, what you're trying to do is defeat something that your adversary is doing to you or trying to do to you. So, for example, in a radar application, you may want to disable his radar so it doesn't work. Or you may want to deceive his radar to make, you, make the radar think that you are in a different location than you really are. So these kinds of objectives can be met with different signal processing that's done in the FPGA in the DCM3220. So the idea is to be extremely adaptable to the enemy, to be able to quickly change the response as required so that the enemy, even though he tries to evade detection or he tries to get around your countermeasure system, you can keep following 
and keep deceiving or defeating his radar system from operating correctly. One of the things that, that Mercury really does well is it first of all understands exactly what the customer is looking for, goes about the best way to meet the sometimes very difficult requirements, as in this case, to get a solution, and then to be able to, to deliver it reliably to the customer so that the warfighter is protected doing his job. Roger, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for joining me. That was a, it was a great interview and I really appreciate your time. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Ralph.